Scotland's game was moved to Sunday, with the nation united in grief before their match with Belarus. Christian Daly moves up to add his ideal presence. A bit of shot from McAllister. Oshan Dorsal and Kevin Gallagher has scored for Scotland. McKinley, Collins, here's Hopkin. Nice play at the edge of the area. Gallagher finds McCoyst and Hopkin. David Hopkins done it. Scotland have a second goal. Possession has been a key word in the Scotland performance so far. As Paul Lambert breaks out, the flick was in to Kevin Gallagher. He might get there now. And Gallagher's done it. A second goal for Kevin Gallagher. And at the far post in came Laverick. There seemed to be a lack of communication there in the Scottish defence. A lack of shouting, possibly. That could have been a chance at the far post. And incredibly, the referee is given a penalty kick. Kachuro with the kick. And he's pulled one back. Almost total silence around side Pitodri. Craig Burley finds David Hopkin. It's a go it alone. Hopkin still has it, and scores! Brilliant individual skill from David Hopkin. So, Scotland's win put them back on top of the group, but only until Wednesday when Austria won in Belarus. The Austrians seem certain to win the group. Their final game is at home to Belarus. Sweden's win over Latvia keeps them in contention for second place. But the nub of the matter as far as Great Britain is concerned. Scotland will be guaranteed second spot if they beat Latvia, and that match will now be played at Celtic Park. And in all probability, Scotland would then have the best second place and would qualify for the World Cup finals automatically. <laughs>